Oh. Do you know what was really annoying? I hadn't pressed record. Oh, banter. It's alright, you can still pass the pasta on the scene. So it's still pasta on the scene. <laughs> it's still up there. So, yes, we, we have a small problem because this one threw, well, actually, started off with this one, <laughs> threw pasta at her sister. This one tried to throw the pasta back. How did you manage to throw the pasta back and hit the she, ceiling? She was all the way by the <laughs> sink, so I tried to throw it far. <laughs> Is he yet? Isn't she? I guess... <laughs> So we now have pasta. Oh, you've got to break the ceiling. Risk and can't get it down. Reese! Is Reese actually here still? Yeah, I hear now. She just walks through the door. Okay, we'll wait for Reese to come see the pasta on the ceiling, and then I have a helping hand in my hand so we can get it down. But this is why I need a helping hand, guys. I don't think you've got room to talk today right now sweetheart you are the reason there is pasta on the ceiling <laughs> oh look at the ceiling <laughs> what part of the ceiling um, what were you trying to do that thing that you like i don't know test it or something <laughs> yeah your pasta's cooked charlie um. <laughs> i told charlie to throw it at the wall to see if it was cooked she threw it at the wall and it was cooked. She then proceeded to throw it at me. So I tried to throw it back at her and she was basically where you are currently standing and I missed drastically. So now shall we see if we can get said pasta off the ceiling with a helping hand whilst recording it. This could be amusing, couldn't it? is not coming off the ceiling. <laughs> Pasta is well and truly <laughs> stuck to the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, right, can you video me trying to get it down? Because I can't video and see it at the same time. Helping hand at the same time. Oh no, what? I stopped recording, but I... Press play again. <sighs> Who would like said piece of pasta? All right, thanks. It's Charles' pasta. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like it, would you? Oh, God. It's going to be so cobwebby and gross. Stop <laughs> eating it. <laughs> yeah, that's gone. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22, it's Thursday, I'm just catching up with Amy, who is Little Taylor S, or Taylor S Studio, as she is on um, YouTube, and I am literally, I think, about to finish the toe of my sock, I'm nearly done the decreases and I'm about to change colour, so I'm having a debate with myself as to whether I just get this finished today now, um, and then I'll, I can take them downstairs and kitchen them, kitchen them, kitchen them? It's a new one. Kitchen of them. <laughs> so I might do that. I might just get those done and then I can concentrate on those squares in the morning. I need to get those squares done. But these are so beautiful. I've loved doing these. And it's the one thing I have actually managed to keep up. I don't know what's going on there. I reckon it must have been where I changed from one to the other. Um, it is something I have managed to keep up with every day during Advent. Is my, my stripe on my Advent socks. I have loved it. If I get one next year, I'm going to start striping with the cuff because um, I'm two stripes short, I think, on the the ball of yarn. I'm going to miss out on the bright orange. It would be 23. And then I reckon it's going into this black. It would be 24. And then I think it goes back into the main colours again for quite a while. It looks like there's a fair amount of um repeat of this bit again so i don't know if there's enough left actually for me to make some shorty socks which there might be which is exciting so i may have to have a go at making those especially with i've got loads of the mini left because i haven't used that other than for the cuffs um so i could do the cuffs and the um heels with the mini and um 
use the leftovers for the rest of the sock because it'll be just the foot and theoretically I can work out pretty much how many stripes I've used on here and then stripes have got left in there so you can see sort of like what colour you've got at least to that bright blue which is there so that's that many stripes <coughs> and I think it's actually further in than that so that looks like that's that purple coming through which is that one there Mm, interesting anyway I'm going to carry on with these now because it's 8.30 I was supposed to be in the bath now but I can't be bothered to get out of bed but I have got a busy day so I do need to my hips sore this morning um but I need to I want to make those cookies I thought I might try and actually talk to you about them today so I am going to say there is a good chance that the next three days are going to be really long vlogs um obviously you don't have to watch them and I totally get that there's so many people like this lovely lady that are doing amazing vlogs and you know you can't watch them all but I'm being purely selfish I don't know whether I'm being purely selfish because hopefully there's at least a couple of people out there that like watching like the long long vlogs but I'm it's more self-indulgent that's probably a better word um because I love seeing all the traditions um, and I've watched them back myself. I watch my vlogmas videos back so many times, especially if I'm upset or um, I'm I'm kind of having a bad day. I, I will watch them, and they they just they're really soothing to me. I know they're not soothing to other people, but they're very soothing to me. Um, and I, I like seeing the things I'm making and stuff, which is why there's a lot of I keep all the footage but speed it up. Because I like watching it, I like seeing it, I like seeing it done. Um, so yeah, please do bear with me over the next few days as you get some very, very long videos. It might be that you don't, it might be that they get so crazy that I don't get to pick up the camera. But um, yeah, it could very well be that they, they are at least 40 minutes long for the next sort of three or four days. Um I do record a Christmas Day one. I don't always publish it. I, I tend to keep it for the family. Um, and then obviously I've got, I have got a 12 days of Christmas. Oh, I've got a couple of 12 days of Christmas countdown calendars, which I might sit down and chat to you about as well between Christmas and New Year. So we'll just see how things go. But for now, I'm going to finish this sock off. <laughs> Good morning um welcome to vlogtober day 22 if i haven't already said that i may have done a little bit i recorded earlier um it's thursday it's my mop-up day so it's the day when i do all the jobs i didn't get done in the last few days which includes um baking some cookies um because they all got eaten yesterday <laughs> there's about four left i think um and there's the cookie dough mixture that i couldn't really do because it was too sticky so um i'm going to do that bake the cookies, tidy the fridge, finish the wrapping. That's what I've got to do. I think all the presents are here now. I don't think I'm missing anything. So once I've finished wrapping today, I'm done, which is good. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've bought some new cookbooks, which I'm going to share with you between Christmas and New Year, because I'm inspired by my Nigella cookbook yesterday um, with these amazing cookies, which was so good that um, I'm like, oh, I really need to start cooking up cookbooks again for a little while. I was going to do a cook from the book um, section for my Patreons last year, and I never kind of really did it. So um, I'm thinking maybe this year I might do that. Um, not for Patreon, I hasten to add, because I'm not doing Patreon. But um, maybe for just for this channel. Um, and if you don't want, I'll, I'll maybe do it as a standalone. And if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. And if you do, then fantastic. Um, I might do some journaling content this year as well, because I love my journals and they do really help keep my brain organised. Um, for the last 
two years I've been on some tablets that, that I've messed with my memory um, some of the, one of the side effects is short term memory loss um, and it is actually getting worse which is really not helpful um, which is why sometimes I'm really kind of vague on the vlog and it's like did I really tell you that? can't remember and then I'll, I'll say something on the vlog like in a minute I'll show you blah 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 and I've totally forgotten about it and I'll be watching it back in editing going well that didn't happen did it? <laughs> So sometimes I have to cut things out that would be good content because I haven't carried it on. <laughs> so I might put a disclaimer in and just sort of say, look, if that happens, it's because I've genuinely forgotten it. Um, we're working on changing my tablets to see whether I can find some ones that don't do that. I've got a lovely daughter coming in in the background. And this happened to me the other day. That I was, and this is one of those moments where I said, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And never got round to telling you about it because I completely forgot. You all right, baby? You're coming around to give me a hug on camera. That's really cute. She's so sick, bless her. <laughs> she's so sick that she's now got sympathetic mummy. <laughs> um, I just hope she's better next week. Cause... Oh, well, I've done panto glandular fever before Mother Dearest, so I'll get through it anyway. I'm not convinced you haven't got glandular fever this time, if I'm honest. Oh, no, I don't feel... <laughs> you don't feel that bad? It's, it's not just... that fine, it's just pain. I, I could say, I think you'd be all right if it wasn't for the... Pulled muscle stroke coughing fracture. Yeah. But, yeah, so I'm gonna. That's what I was saying. Getting back to what I was saying. Um, the journals help keep my brain straight so I actually don't forget stuff because the poor girls, I'm driving them nuts at the moment. They'll tell me something and I'm completely blank on it and I'll, I would not remember it at all. Um, and they're adamant they've told me and I'm adamant they haven't. I kind of need to record every conversation I have with them and then write it down. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so the journals really help with that. So I might do a journaling video. Um, and I, yeah, again, it probably is a standalone. So if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. But for now, I am actually going to go through my list of things I need to do, which are written in, down in this book. Put them into today's things I need to do, which are written down in this book, and um, actually do something because it's 11 o'clock and I haven't actually done any of this yet. So I do need to get on. Why do I keep forgetting to press um, play these days? Um, you're doing fine. Yeah, this is not this is not going to work. I th you might find just putting it over your hands is much easier because it's a lot less movement. I can't have that hand up for a long time. Just put my mind on. I'll dictate to you what to write in here. <laughs> you can write my diary. Luckily it's DK, it won't take me too long. There we go. <coughs> you, yeah, with this you can just sort of sit like this. I don't really care to sit like this. I know, but you still got to do, it's not just sitting like that, is it? You're still moving yourself to get untangled and everything. Mm. Once it starts running, it'll be good. Put that back on here. Oh, yes, I guess. You up. <laughs> yes, yes, I am up. <laughs> Song. Which one was it? Katie. Oh. She's probably having a pantomime. Mm. Yeah, no, I need a new ball, ball winder because. Not a ball winder, but it's swift. Yes, yes.
So one is Sassy Pouring Her Carrot. For which read, playing with her carrot. Are you supposed to be eating that, Raven? <laughs> she is funny.
all right, baby. Sorry. What's the date? 20 seconds today. It's nearly there. You can't have many more with things in. That was attractive. Yeah. <laughs> socks. More socks with Santa on them. They get Chris more Christmassy. They're closer to Christmas, it's getting. Hello, good evening. It's now an awful lot later than the last time I spoke to you. It is 10 to 8. Oh, and you are very wonky. Maybe I'm wonky. <laughs> Maybe after today. Um, my arthritis is um, going, you need to sit down or you're going to not be able to move tomorrow. Which I do need to be able to move tomorrow because I've got lots of stuff to do. So um, I've got loads of yarn. So I've got this beautiful vintage peony colourway from um, West Green Loft Yarns, which actually looking at would make a beautiful baby, baby vertebrae for my granddaughter. Um, I've got this beautiful Fall In to Lolita, I think it's what it's called, by um, The Lonely Knitter. And I've got Vintage Daffodil, it's a beautiful colourway, by um, Beehive Yarns that Raven decided to remove from my stash today. <coughs> I'm not too sure about her colour coordination yet. Anyway, that's not the reason that we're on the camera. We're on the camera so I can open my advents um, and then I'm going to edit you, hopefully, and put you up. I've got my snowman mug again, this is my favourite mug of the season. It occurs to me, I have two stitchery mugs that I absolutely adore that I can't use unless it's Christmas because they both say Christmas messages on them that I've not used yet this year. I need to find them and use them tomorrow. I might go look them up. In fact, I might do that now because otherwise I'll forget. Be back in a moment. Found them! <laughs> so they're now um, waiting to go in the dishwasher just because they need a little bit of a refresh before I use them. Right, should we get on with some advents? That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? So I've now moved all of the remaining advents into here so that it's a lot easier for me just to open them over the next two days because I'm so busy. They are now in, you see all these bags hanging up there. They're all in there. Um, so there's a bag for the 23rd, a bag for the 24th. There is a bag for two of the advents that came with the advents, which I'm not going to say because um, I'm going to reveal them on the 24th. So. Oh. If you have the advents, you probably already know. If you don't have the advents, it'd be a bit more of a, a surprise, a bit more of a reveal. Anyway, let's start opening things. So this one is Elder Fire Stitches. And I can always see through the bag. It's going to be stunning. So pretty. I used only the good notes. So pretty. The lighting's not awful in here, but I am just going to put the side light on. Because that's my daylight light. And although it's sort of throwing light this way. Ah, oh, that's better. There we go. That's much better. It's pretty. Um, and we've got really goodness. Oh, some more handmade labels. I need to start actually using those on things. And prettiest mini. It's Stellina. Can you see the Stellina sort of? It's got almost got a Stellina halo. This little mini. It's very pretty. Then we're going to have, I'm going to do Sherry Iris next. Talk about yourselves while I undo the knot. Oh, 
or not, as the case may be. Oh, why does the knot want to come undone? Come on, knot. Please come undone. There we go. <laughs> Finally. So we've got the story. I didn't read yesterday's story, so I really do need to read it. And um, let's open the mini. Oh, wow. There we go. Sort of a brown going into purpley colours. Again, this is Stellina and there's specks. This reminds me a bit of a uh, kind of a forest at the bottom of the trees in winter and then like a night sky or a, a sort of a wintry sky. It's all pretty. Right. This is Dandelion and Dogwood. Oh, wow. New shoots. Oh, goodness. That's beautiful. It's got blues and roses and greens and everything in it. So good. Beautiful mini. Um, then we've got Le Family On. Oh wow. Again, this kind of reminds me of a winter sky. The purples and the blues sort of kind of got speckles on it. It's really pretty. I'm drinking a caffeinated coffee to try and fool my um, brain to thinking it's coffee, but it's obviously not working. So this is um, the Lone Unitor. My lovely friend Laura. Oh, wow. Goodness, there is pretty much every colour, I think, in there. Goonies never say die to Goonies. And look at that. Wow. And we've got the wrong one. I've got number 23 here. It should be number 22. That was close, wasn't it? Uh, is that in this one? Did I get the wrong one out? Yep, that's number 22. That's number 23. That was a close, that was nearly a uh, spoiler for Giddy Yarns. <laughs> Luckily I noticed in time. Ooh, speckled blue. That's very pretty. It's got beautiful speckles on it. Can you see them there? It's really lovely. Number 22 for the Camel's Yarn. Oh wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Very <laughs> sorry before it came out. Coming home trees. Look at that. That's pretty. I love how that's um skeined up. I think we can safely say these uh, minis do match these uh, photographs very well. And lastly is the collaboration event. And that's in a 
little bag. This is Fruitful Fusion. How pretty is that? I think all my minis would go together really well today. I mean, not that they ever will go in the same project. Unless I have a cosy memory blanket that I decide I'm going to put all the leftovers into. Or my, oh, I guess they could all go in my northeasterly. They may end up all going in my northeasterly. Oh, I've been watching um, Jules, So Sweet Violet, and Amy, the little tailoress, and their linen stitch crochet um, blankets. I have been very tempted. But I've been good. I have not cast on yet another blanket. Not yet, anyway. It's always a possibility. But as yet, I have not done it. Um, so I think one of the things that are going to give for the moment is going to be my Christmas diary. I think I've got too much to do today, tomorrow, and um, Christmas. I might get caught up on Christmas Eve, to be fair, because I want to work like crazy tomorrow to try and be ready for Christmas Eve. So I've got some time on Christmas Eve. We will see. Um, right, so my So Re Me advent today, I got this little little dog washi tape. That's so cute. Christmas dogs. So these are, I'm using this in my um, Christmas food diary. Um, not diary, but my little traveller's journal notebook and um, in my journal as well at the moment. So I should probably use that for tomorrow. Which I want to try and sort out tonight so I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, where is there is this is my spinning one I'm not going to hold this up and show you because you know what it looks like and also my camera battery is dying so this is day 22 and in there I have got oh that's pretty oh wow well, there's, there's an extra that was a horrendous noise I'm so sorry so it's that's the photo forget me not it's come with this cute little forget-me-not flower charm progress keeper and look at that little braid that's ever so pretty I do like that so lovely so that's that one You go in there, you go in there, I don't lose you, you can go back down here, I don't think puppy will go into it down there, hopefully anyway. And last but not least is my coffee which is sitting here, I could do with some decaps coming out now, um, so it's going to be the second level, so 22 and 23 is on that level. Green one. I'm not sure I've had a green one. Rio de Janeiro Espresso. Sadly, not a decaf. <laughs> but never mind. I will drink them. It's just obviously I can drink decaf any time of the day, whereas those I drink kind of a couple of cups in the morning and then that's it. that's it done for now I have done my advents um, thank you very much for joining me today I hope you enjoy it um, and I will see you tomorrow for a very busy day we are heading out to collect our shopping in the morning we've got to take the dog to the vets I'm going to Katie's in the evening so tomorrow's um, vlog will not get edited and uploaded and probably till after Christmas um, because Christmas Eve is the possibility after that um, and I don't like the chances but I think there's a good chance that I will sit on Boxing Day and catch up all my vlogs and get them all out um, do you watch vlogmas videos after Christmas? just a matter of interest um, 
I will still do them because I will watch them next year on the lead up to Christmas in order and <laughs> they won't be kind of late at that point. Do you get me? <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Right, I'm going to get you edited and I will see you tomorrow.